here are 20 things that you may or may not know about the brand new Pavlov update. But before we get into it, make sure you guys smack that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more Pavlov Shack content like this. Number one. So did you know that the Lone Wolf and TTT can actually now buy all the gadgets? But that's pretty cool that now he can buy the T items and the detective items as well. Number two. Did you know that in TTT there is a new secret scope? So if you buy the body identifier right here, this actually now has a scope on it and you can identify bodies. Can uh, one of you kill yourselves real quick so I can stop? Oh my god! <laughs> If you look in the scope and you click on the body, you can actually identify what role they were and how they died. So there's basically a whole brand new secret scope in the game. This wasn't on the body identifier before this update, so it's really great that they now have a scope for this thing. Nothing much to it, just this new secret scope that not many people are going to know about. Number three. Did you know that they added a secret role into TTT? The name of this brand new role is the Psychopath. And the objective of this role is to kill everybody like the lone wolf does, except everybody knows that you're the psychopath. And you also spawn in with a free radar. Sadly, this role is actually extremely rare. And I spent hours inside of TTT trying to get this role, but the odds were just too low. So shout out to Rigid Decay for the gameplay. I'll put his channel in the description. Number four. Did you know you can actually now play Infection and Prop Hunt, the two new game modes in this update? Oh, wow. They even have a custom screen on here as well. I haven't even played this. The objective is to survive as long as you can. So as you can see, he's the monster. And they even have smoke nades in here and new sound effects for the alien and stuff. Now we're going to play Prop Hunt on OG containers. Yep, I'm a prop. Does this count as a prop? It doesn't seem like any of the props on OG container actually works. I'm assuming that you, you have to play on the prop hunt map for props to work, but maybe Dave will add it in where we can play on any map. Whoa, 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 the frame rate. Okay, so Station actually has a bunch of props that you can be. But as you can see, you can pretty much be every prop in Station. So I'm not sure what maps work, but OG containers doesn't and Station does. So it's kind of work in progress, but it's kind of cool. Number five, did you know that your watch screen will actually display the profile picture of the last person that you killed? As you can see here, once I get this kill, it displays his profile picture on my watch. And here's another player that I killed. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice little detail that they added in there, but I'm not sure if that was added in this update or the last update. But regardless, it's a really nice detail. Number six, did you know that the flare gun actually now has rounds in it? You can actually load more flares. So when you shoot a flare, you can pop it out, put it in. And like so, so you can actually reload the flare now. It looks like they also added an Easter egg to the flare gun. I'm not sure if this was in the game before, but I think that's Dave's face. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who that is, but that's a little Easter egg right there. Number seven. If you have a flare gun and you buy a sniper, you will actually get more rounds for your sniper. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch or it's intended, but it seems pretty overpowered. So the flare gun and the sniper both use the same ammo. In TTT, you can actually get more than one round for the sniper. I actually kind of like that, but I don't know if this is a glitch or intended, but it is something that I noticed with the update. Number eight. Did you know that you can actually fold other player stocks now? So as you can see, if he holds his gun up to me, I can actually fold his stock. And this isn't visible for them, it's only visible for you, but it is pretty cool. If you just walk up to a player, you can fold their stock. So their gun is pretty much interactable. You can take their clips out and everything. <laughs> Number nine. Did you know that in the most recent patch for the brand new update, they actually patched smoke grenades? So now the stupid strategy of smoking out the bomb and search and destroy is not viable anymore. The smoke grenade still blocks lines of sight, but when you go inside of it, you can actually see just a little bit more. You can still see your hands and your guns, but more importantly, you can see the bomb as well, and you can type in the numbers. This is how the smoke grenade should have worked in the first place. I don't know why it took a patch, but anyway, I'm so thankful that this is now patched. Number 10. Did you know that you can actually disable gore in the menu? If you go to settings and right here in general, if you scroll down, you can disable gore. So if you don't like the new gore and the body dismemberments, you can actually just disable them in the menu. Number 11. Did you know that they actually added a sound effect for when you land on the ground now? Before, when you used to jump off of stuff, you would just be quiet. You would just land on the ground. But now, if you jump down, your feet actually make a sound. You can actually hear that you fall down. Say I'll go up here. That's high enough. You make your way up here. And if you jump down, you actually make a sound. It, it makes a little thud. That was not in the game before, and that's pretty cool. That's a thing that not many people probably would have known or paid attention to. Number 12. Did you know that scopes actually stack on each other? So if you have one gun, of course you can aim down sights and you can see through the scope. But if you have two guns and you put one in front of the other, you can actually see through two scopes at once. It's pretty crazy. So you can see further than if you were to have one scope. It's actually a weird thing and pretty cool to be honest. So I guess you could find some way to abuse that. But as you can see, regular, I can see through it. Number 13. So did you know when you're actually reaching for a magazine that your ammo pouch will light up now? 
As you can see, when I reach for a magazine, the ammo pouch will light up, indicating that I can grab a mag. It's just a small little detail that I noticed when I was reloading. Nothing too crazy, but at least now you'll know when you can grab a magazine. Number 14. Did you know that in this new update, you can actually see your body now? Before this update, your body was sort of see-through, and of course it's still sort of see-through, but it is a lot more visible than what it was before this update. I personally love this change because it brings a lot more immersion into Pavlov's shack, instead of your body just being kind of like a ghost-like object. Number 15. So did you know that they added scopes inside of tanks as well? If you get into the main gun of the tank, you can actually see that they have a scope on here now. And it's and it's a screen instead of being a window, it's actually now a scope or a screen, which is pretty cool. Uh, a nice thing that they added in this update. Not many people know about that. Number 16. Did you know that on the map bunker, you can actually shoot through this blue tarp and it can be used to get some pretty cheeky kills. So as you can see, I'm shooting through it and the rounds are going into the ceiling. And this is the best angle that you can use to get kills right there because you can see their feet at the bottom of the tarp. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Make sure you're using the tarp on the map bunker. Number 17. Did you know that the World War II weapons actually have scopes too? Not a lot of people might know this, but yeah, he added scopes for most of the guns in here as well. But there still is no scopes inside the World War II range. But however, he did add scopes this wasn't here when the uh, RC first came out, but he did add scopes into into the modern guns range. So you, you can actually get the ACOG and the uh, sniper scope in here. Number 18. So I talked about this in my video, but still not a lot of people know about this, man. This is the gun offset adjuster. This thing is crazy, man. You can adjust where you want your weapons. I know that I talked about this in my update video, but still, I don't think a lot of people realize that this thing is great. As you can see, holding the gun right here. So like if I turn the level up and down and I click apply there we go it's changing where the weapon is located when, when you're holding it so it's hard to explain but basically you can make it closer to your face further away from your face it's a nice feature and you can set up each gun to the way you like it so say I like the PPSH further away I can get it further away if I like the revolver closer up click apply and now the revolver is closer to me when I'm holding it so I can see it better Number 19. Did you know that they actually removed Jester, Glitch, and the Survivalist in TTT? There's actually no more Jester, no more Survivalist, and no more Glitch. They, they removed them from the game. But I heard that the Jester is actually coming back in the game sometime soon. And that they're completely overhauling the Jester and they're making changes to him. So we're going to see the Jester back in the game at some point. But for right now, they're not in the game. They also added the Mercenary back into the game. So I don't know what that was about. But yeah, they, they made some changes to the roles in TTT. Number 20. Did you know that they actually changed the red dot site in the brand new update? So the visibility is actually way better than what it was before usually the red dot would blend in to red objects especially on og containers or brighter maps and you can't see but now you can see it and it sticks out as clear as day bonus and a little bonus in here they changed the flashlight a little bit um they actually changed the way the flashlight works they changed the light on it um it's a lot easier to see indoors now than it was previously outdoors it's going to be a little bit more hard to see as you can see so i'm shining it up towards the sky and it's very hard to see but indoors yeah it's great so they changed the lighting on that and it actually looks way better than it did before which is pretty great nice bonus to throw in there if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more pavlov shack content like this anyways guys peace out